Hello guys, and welcome back to another M Creator building tutorial. So today what we're actually going to do is start a brand new project. We got the last one done. So uh, the last one was basically a dungeon, and this one's going to be a desert temple. So hopefully we can create something interesting. Now, I wanted to try something a little bit different. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but uh, I haven't tested it yet, but I thought I would still create the second part uh, below it. Uh, now, the regular desert temple has um, a little chamber underneath the ground, and I was wondering if I could do that on a larger scale, so we could use this uh, particular chunk for a um, basically the actual main structure, and then over here this could be the um, chamber itself. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to work com completely. I haven't tested it, but um, between this episode and the next one for the next part, uh, what I'm going to actually do is basically take the rough draft of what I've created in this video, and I'm going to bring it into mCreator and just see if I can actually get it to work that way. If not, then we'll basically have to uh, change it just a little bit, but we'll have to not include that part, but uh, for the resources that I have for today, uh, we got all these different types of building blocks and stuff, so we got a, quite a big selection to actually build with, and uh, some of that stuff up here is decoration and traps and stuff like that, and we'll be able to work on that in the, in the next two parts after, and I don't need that anymore, but uh, yeah, so let's get started. I have the uh, actually a template for building worlds now, so we shouldn't have any bats spawn, hopefully, because it's not the default lowest, um, near bedrock, uh, because bats only spawn near a certain level underneath the ground, so we're actually standing on level 64, I think? Uh, we're looking at level 60, uh, 63. This block right here is 64, and if we go into the chunk view, uh, I'm not sure if this is going to render, but you can see the blue line right along here. This basically indicates that we're at the beginning of the chunk. So anything that we build on this, um, this level right here and up is going to be our exact chunk. So with that, I've basically aligned our structure block to have these two these particular chunks here just for a quick reference quick reference it doesn't have a really any um, important function other than just keeping it in the actual chunk grid but um, it, like it won't affect spawning or anything like that so all right as far as structures go I don't know what we're gonna be doing I'm just gonna grab a bunch of these blocks and then we're going to start kind of laying out the bottom floor, I guess, of the temple. Now this will be submerged under the ground a little bit, about uh, one story, and then we'll have kind of like the sand dunes and stuff that go over top of it. Uh, we need to figure out where the... Oh, wrong one. Uh, G. So where the center is. The center is roughly around here. So I'm going to just place a couple markers right over here just to kind of know where that is and then over on this side I am going to place a couple more just so I can kind of get an idea where the center of the block is for all the chunks all right so we can disable that and uh, let's start building so I want kind of like a main room so I'm gonna kind of go one two three four and then I got some hair in my mouse. Cat hair. Just give me a sec. Get that out. Alright. There we go. That should be better. Uh, there's a little... The, the laser gets uh, the fine cat hairs from my two cats. And they like to go up on my desk while I'm sleeping. So I have to constantly clean it out. Alright, so now that we got kind of an idea, I want to go up... I figure what we'll do is we'll go and build kind of like that and then we could do some smooth stuff actually no this is going to be the bottom layer right so we're going to want to go kind of like that now how high do we want it we probably want about a little bit of a room right so that and then we'll kind of go like this now assuming that the 
lower part uh, can generate, we'll have another level underneath, so that won't be an issue. But just as a fallback procedure, what I'm gonna do is create a dungeon kind of thing underneath uh, for our bottom layer. And if we do have to, um, like basically, uh, if we can't use that part, then what we can do is we can have this as our main part of the structure. So I'm gonna go at least five blocks that way and five blocks that way. And then I'm gonna go, uh, let's see here, that's six. So I'm gonna go that way. And how many do I go out? Three. So this should be six, I think. How many do we have on this side? Four. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of follow the pattern of this structure. Actually, with these sides here, I think what we'll do is we'll kind of go out like this, and that will give us kind of an area to work with. Okay, that won't work properly. We can go a little bit like that though. And we'll put our stairs in this direction. And then we can do the same on this side. So we'll go like this. And then one, two, three, four, or something around that. How far are we? Three, bro three blocks away from that side. And we're gonna want to go like that. And then we'll go out this way just a little bit. How many blocks do we need to go out that way? We need to go out five blocks. So we'll put one down here, measure that. And then we'll go in this way. And then two that way, that way, and then this way, and then that way, and then that way, perfect. All right, so that will be our basic dungeon layout. Uh, we can put in the floors and stuff in just a sec. Um, we need some actual different types of wood though. So we could go with um, stone or we could go with, I figure we'll go with stone right now. And then what we could do is um, for the next level up, and I'm not sure how high we want to actually go, but um, we'll be able to um, kind of figure out the next level in just a second so after we fill all this in I'm sure I could have done it with the fill command but that takes a little bit extra time it was probably about the same time that for this size of structure to actually just fill it in all by, by hand so uh, the walls on the other hand would probably be a lot longer as well so just fill all this in And then we just have this section over here to fill in. All right, just about there. All right, now we just have the walls and then we need to figure out the floor. So for the floor, what I'm gonna do is just go like that. And then we can just kind of figure out the walls for this. So I'm going to place down this part like so, and that went like that, and like that. Okay, so we've got that part, and then it connects up to there, and then we have this to do. Now, this is actually gonna be under the ground, right? So, uh, we'll be able to do some decoration and stuff, um, for sure, uh, for some of this. And I figure there'll be a couple chambers, maybe a spawner or two in here as well. Uh, we could put like a husk spawner instead. I think that would be pretty cool. And, um, yeah, we'll do like a husk spawner down in the, the basement. Uh, normal dungeons just have um, 
the loot, but I think a spawner would be actually pretty cool too for some husks. I would make it a little more challenging as well. Okay, so just about got the walls done. Okay, and then we have this level. And I'm not sure how um, many stairs we're going to need to get down to the lower part of the dungeon. We'll figure that out in just a second. And then we have the uh, main floor for the next one. So this one right here. This will be our main level for our upper floor. have this to fill in. So that and that. Perfect. Alright, so now that we got that all sorted out, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of plan out where we're going to need some of these walls and stuff. So I figure what we'll do is the stairs come in this side, right? So what we could do is we could kind of have... I don't know if this is going to work properly. We can try it. Okay, that's going to be a little bit uneven. Try that instead. Yeah, that would work. Okay, so that will work. And then what we could do is with these other ones, we could do kind of like some decorative uh, parts like that. And then we'll go back to our regular one. And then our roof part will be there. Uh, we could also do... Now there's all this side over here, this will be open, and then what we could do on this side is have a kind of like a chamber part, and we'll bring this in like that, and that will look good, I think, um, we'll have that a little bit more open, and then we'll fill this in with just the regular stone. And then we'll go like that. I think that will work out fine. Uh, let's go check, see if we have that other stairs. Yes, we do, perfect. All right, so what we'll do is we'll fill that in like this. Kind of have like a little pointy part. And then uh, for the other side here, what we could do is we could do something like that. just on these particular parts just to give it some detail okay so that looks good and then we got uh, these parts here so what I'm gonna do is just kind of erase that and then we will go and we'll build we'll use our strategy from the other temple that we created and we'll do kind of like these kind of designs. And yeah, that'll be good for that. And over on this side, we'll do the same. And we'll leave this side and then we'll go over on this side and then we'll fill this in. Fill that in, fill that in, and then on the opposite side here, what we'll do is we'll just kind of bring that out one, and we'll bring this out one, and we'll bring this out one like that, just so it's a little bit more um, easier to work with. And then we'll fill this in, oh, wrong one. Fill that in like this. And actually, we should probably do the full length like that. Just so the um, decoration blocks aren't showing, just in case it is exposed to the actual surface. And then we'll go like this. Go 
that in. And then we can put like some surface block up here as well. Okay, and then all this needs to be filled in. Okay, and then that. We'll leave that cavity open. And then we'll do something there. Alright, so there's those. Actually, I like the way it looks the way it is, actually. So what all we need to really do is kind of go like that. We can use these as like uh, tomb things for bodies and stuff like that. I think that would be really cool. Alright, so we'll do um, this as well. And we'll do this side. in and then we'll kind of fill all that in as well and then I'm just going to place the stairs on this side because it's a little bit easier to do and then we can fill all that in and all that in and then we just have the other side to do so that's basically what it looks like so far, and uh, over here what we could do is, I don't know, put some skulls or something like that, or creeper heads, or something a little bit decorative. Uh, we could even go and um, create, now that we got this all kind of figured out, um, we have some of that terracotta, uh, or whatever it's called, I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, we got glazed terracotta, that's what it is. So what we could do is we could kind of go like that. Okay, I'm just trying to get the, okay, the, the skulls, the creeper skulls go that way. So we could do that and then kind of fill it in. I'm gonna have to break that for temporarily. So that way the creeper heads look like it's facing that way and then what we could do is we can go like that not sure if that's gonna work no okay that's good and then what we'll do is we'll go actually I'm not sure if I like that particularly uh, we can do something like that and then fill this in that looks a little bit better actually so we'll do the same over here and here yeah I like that and then what we could do instead is we could do I'm not sure we could do something like that Yeah, that would work. And uh, we will need to kind of tile that a little bit. So one like that, one like that. Inwards. Actually, that should be that way. And this should be that way. And that should be out. And then we could do kind of um, part like that part that goes that way, that way, and that. Not sure if I like that too much. Our spawner is going to be over there, right? So let's see, we'll do this and we'll kind of expand it out a little bit more. So that and like that and then we'll do like that all right so that'll be good for that part uh we'll figure out what we're going to do um in some of the other areas i'm just going to leave that that looks actually actually really good like that so i'm happy with that uh what we do need is to start working on the upper floor and finishing this part here so i'm going to quickly um do a cut scene, just do this same technique on this side over here, and then we can continue on to the upper floor. 
All right, so I got a little bit of the rooms done. So we got the part over here all complete and I put in a little lava pool over here just for some decoration. I didn't know what to really fit in that particular space. So I thought maybe like a lava chamber or something like that. And we'll have our spawners on this side. And uh, now we just, I, I filled in this part right here just mainly because if we put the, the hardwood floors down, it might catch fire. So I, did, I wanted a little bit of padding room for the actual lava pit. So I put some of the blocks down there. Now we do need to get up to the upper level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of plan out uh, some of this stuff. So I was thinking kind of like a couple stairs that way. And then what we do is we'll kind of go like that. And then we'll fill in this and then we'll need to go down a level and something like that so perfect all right so that will kind of be the way down and then we just need to repeat that on the other side so we'll do this and then we'll fill this in uh, we need to go up one so it'll be there and then we'll fill this in. So like that. I think the stairs go down to that level. And then we'll just fill this in. And fill that in. Perfect. All right, so now we got our stairs in. All we need to do is put the hardwood floor in. And I think what we'll do is we'll put some sand at the back here. Um, fill it in with just some regular sand. It'll be in just a regular desert, so this will be fine. Um, should be fine to do that, I think. Uh, this will be the top level, right? So, yeah, it should be fine there. Okay, so like that, and then we'll fill this part in. Oh, that's fine, we'll clear that out in a sec. Perfect, and we'll just remove that. All right, so now we got that part done. Uh, we need to put in our hardwood floors, so I'm gonna to do that right now. We need some of that. And then we're gonna just kind of fill in this part until we get what we need. Now, bats shouldn't spawn this time around um, because the height level of the actual structure. So that'll be good. A lot better than last time we had to deal with those pesky bats and hopefully I have designed the roof well enough that it won't catch fire at least that's what I'm hoping and we'll go out this way I'm sure we'll find out if it starts catching fire um, like almost we can even change the uh, tick rate up a little bit so there's a higher chance of it. Okay, so just about that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, place like that so it looks a little bit more natural. And this is what it will look like when we come down here. So yeah, that, that looks really good. And then this will be the spawning chamber for the... I don't know if we're going to do the... Uh, a dungeon like a spawner over here we could put two spawners on each side I think that would be better uh, we could do like a husk over on this side and another husk on that side I think that would be pretty cool and um, then we can do some decoration with those uh, parts later but uh, let's see let's bring this up just a little bit more now for the entrance I think we'll be on this side so we'll kind of go like that so we could do a larger part like this and then we'll kind of bring this down and go along here I'm not sure what we'll do at the back on this side but we'll figure something out and connect 
that up. All right, so there's that, and then we'll kind of bring this in like that, just so it's a little bit better. And for this top part, uh, maybe have. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Do something like that. I'm trying to space it out where it's, um, yeah, that looks good. And then what we could do is, um, no, maybe not that. Doing one block won't work. Uh, we could do something like that instead. And then something needs to be up here, I'm not sure what, but we'll figure something out. And uh, for the next level, what we'll do is we'll just finish the pattern that we had for that lower level. So we'll do that, and kind of like that instead. Fill all this in, we'll do the creeper blocks on those. Now these um, parts here, uh, I want to do an entire upper level, but I'm going to save that for the next part. Uh, we're only going to do like maybe one decoration tutorial part for uh, this particular build. I don't expect to do too much content for this. Um, we'll probably end up using mostly vanilla blocks, but uh, we can use the Emperor to spawn the structure and um, definitely utilize some of the built-in vanilla blocks. It's a lot of work to actually put together all the custom blocks and stuff like that, but again, if you wanted to go um, long-term and actually develop something really good and unique, then you'd probably want to use custom blocks as well. Um, all right, so we got that part done. I'm just gonna fill in this last section and well, last couple sections, and then I think that'll be good for the video. Uh, we'll have to continue it next week. Because I still want to um, figure out some stuff. Actually, on these sides here, didn't think of that before, but we could do kind of like a stepped part. That might work out well. I will clean that up in just a second. So before we end, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove some of this. Uh, we're just going to test to see what it looks like. So we'll go like that. And then we'll go up. To like this. Just want to see really what it will look like in the long term. So again, this will be at the ground level, and then we could do something like that. I think that would look good. We'll just uh, quickly do the other side here, and um, then I'll call it a day. So, finish this part up, and then we'll do this. And then we just need to fill this part up to here. All right, so yeah, I like that look. Uh, looks a lot better that way. And then we could even do some decoration that goes up like this and uh, down like that. Yeah, I like that look. And we'll do the same over on this side. That and like that. Okay, so that's the kind of the beginning of what we're going to be doing. Um, obviously, we have a lot more to do in the next episode. We have an entire upper part for the roof and stuff to work on, but uh, that shouldn't take too too long to actually do. So um, 
got most of the actual build done today and we can continue working on it uh, next episode. We can actually go all the way up to this part here uh, at the upper rim if we want to. So definitely tune in for that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.